How about a morning walk in the beach, connecting with nature, breathing the fresh air that the nature gives, of course. Your private walkway to the beach, and all this is worth 30 million Kenya shillings in a three-bedroom apartment, all on suit, giving you convenience, giving you intimacy, giving you class, luxury, and privacy. Come with me as we have a look at the best we have in the market right now. Can be your family home or an investment opportunity. This right here is your own private exit and entrance to the beach. Now, just beside it, we have a very, very big pool, big enough to serve all the units in this particular development. And of course, we have the kids' play area, the gym, and a restaurant right on this side. So this floor is basically giving our basic amenities. Of course, we have two backup generators. We have all the basic amenities. Now, we have four blocks in this particular development. Now this and this right here, the three bedrooms, only go up to the seventh floor. The other one is a three bedroom all on suit going up to the 12th floor with the 13th floor serving uh, with a common terrace. Now, we have the last one, which is more of a modern touch as compared to the three, because these three are basically the coastal touch. So the last one is the four bedroom from 37 million Kenya shillings. And it is one per floor, as you can see, 12 floors going up. Of course, the 13th is the same, the common terrace, and it has a modern touch. So come with me as we have a look at this particular unit. Right at the entrance, we come across our clock room. But before I even touch on the clock room, here's a unique feature or maybe an additional feature about this particular project. So we only have two units per floor. As you will see, this project is very spacious. This is one of the biggest three bedrooms to ever come across. So it's only two units per floor with the DSQ completely detached from the house. A very big DSQ, which is actually very homely because at the end of the day, this is someone providing service to you and this is mostly someone who will be taking care of you and your family. But Sandra, before you even get into the clock room, uh -huh. here's something that I've not seen a lot. Mm -hmm. Only in townhouses uh -huh. have I seen an entry for a which has a seat almost like a waiting area. I think we saw this some time back in Lavender, oh, the smart yeah. house, uh -huh. which has a seat on the, on the, on the, on the entry foyer, which mm -hmm. is like almost like a waiting area. Okay. So before you even step into the house, you have that seat and this plant, like this whole space just... Uh, and of course the window? Yes, and of course the window to just light up the space. I mean, uh, this is uh, very thoughtful. Don't you think it's uh, something very unique and uh, just a very cool addition to the house? It is. It is actually party and I don't know how I failed to mention that. So other than maybe a, a seat where you can do that, you can also decide to do a console. Mm -hmm. right over here and decide to do a console ever seen a situation where maybe you're doing suites on top here oh, so you're yes, doing yes, suites yes, yes, yes. and maybe a mini shoe rack mm -hmm. not not to look so busy so had i not done a seat on this side if i'm not doing a seat i'd probably do a console and maybe a, a shoe rack just a small shoe rack to ensure that people are not leaving their shoes outside and at the same time there's no bulkiness for the shoes over here so maybe a console somewhere to hang your jackets when you're getting into the house and then maybe a shurak that's if i'm not doing this it's, it's a very cool addition and also just uh -huh. not to talk about too much but i also love the fact that there's that window right there next to the kitchen so yeah. you can easily see who's coming in exactly so and it's also serving the kitchen because now you see if i decide to open this window the kitchen window and i open this window on this side i'll still have views Mm -hmm. Even if I'm making dinner or something, yes, I'll yes. still have views and then there's enough lighting. So I really won't need the electricity per se, yes, right? Yes, yes. And uh, before we even get into the clock room, I don't know if you've noticed there's something constant. We have this side. Yeah, the wooden frames like uh, just arcing, opening up into the big, bigger spaces. Exactly. And I don't know how it does this, 
but I feel like it gives me some sort of uh, privacy. Yes, yes there's, yes. there's a little bit of privacy. As in as much as we don't have a door, it still feels very, very intimate and private. Yeah. Like it's tucked on this side, yes. separate from the other side. And we also have another entrance to the kitchen. Other than the one that you will see on the other side as we head towards the dining mm -hmm. area, we have this specific entrance which you may decide to close if you don't want people seeing what you're doing from this side. So let's have a look at our clock room. And it's not the usual clock room where we give you a clock room with the sink inside and everything. There's a small corridor mm -hmm. just to maybe wash your hands once you're done. And it's a smart mirror actually showing us the time, not yet set. But yeah, as you can see, it's saying 7.26. It's not 7.26, obviously, but it is a smart mirror, which is a very unique feature for most clock rooms because clock rooms are a little bit different. They, we just do the bare, the, the, the bare minimum for yes. clock rooms because it's just a matter of two minutes, three minutes, you're done with the piece. I love the rough texture itself, and I love the specific pattern the developer chose to, or the interior, de the, uh, the interior designer, who um, whoever did this, this is a well done job. Because this is very unique, I've not actually seen this so much. So, and it's actually, it's miraculously, complements every single color in this cloak room. In this cloak room, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. and it does not feel very crowded, it does not feel too tiny or too big. So let's head over to our living area and I will just start with the ceiling. The light fixtures come with the house. It's standard. And another thing I'll talk about in this particular space is the space, the amount of space we're getting in this living area. Cause, because we still have a lot of space, we can even add a seat. For someone who loves a tight living area, we can even have a seat and then on top of the console we may decide to do at the door, we may do another one right behind you, Paddy. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a little bit of uh, decos on that side, but we can decide to do maybe an, an, an additional something just just to make it more more busy, I don't know. Yes, I mean, um, I'm Sandra, one thing I'm enjoying is uh -huh. shooting these houses. Because usually when you're shooting other houses, it's usually very difficult to navigate. Right now, I'm literally just gliding you through the space. <laughs> I, know. I love it so much. Yeah, and uh, just before I even go on party, because I want to believe that many of the people purchasing this property are uh, either someone getting a home for holiday, yes. a holiday home, or someone who's getting a unit for investment. Mm -hmm. Now, let's start with the holiday home, holiday home people. So someone who's ideally getting this place as a holiday home is getting all the basic amenities that you'd ask for. So let's start with convenience to the CBD. We are five minutes away from the CBD. Just take your car, you're five minutes away from it. I wish I could demonstrate it. I will, one of these fine days, but of course, once you're here. And then we have wild waters just over here. For someone who's getting it to settle, because we also forgot that there's someone else who'd be getting it just to settle. And for my investor, this house is going to give you up to 200,000 Kenya shillings unfurnished. Should you decide to furnish, the least amount it will fetch you is 350,000 Kenya shillings. This is not hearsay. It has been done, it is being done. And I'm almost sold out. So give me a call before we even proceed with this video. But before we even continue, let's have a look at our balcony. So this is our balcony. And this is how spacious we are. There's a little bit of noise, of course, because of uh, our AC. We have our AC over here. But I love the fact that it's a very big balcony and you can set it up. And you see, we've, we've put that the coffee table and the seat in the middle, but should we decide to move it, you'll still have a lot of space. And of course, I'm still selling views. Views are something that you can never go wrong with. This is this is more of a coastal touch. It's more of a coastal touch because mostly we do maybe steel rails. Yes, yeah, and pillars. Yeah, 
steel rails with glass just to give us you know the coastal feeling at the end of the day yes. and that is still our view so you have the view for the CPT over there we have the view for the ocean it's just a magnificent feeling and as you move towards this side so this side has a clear view of this so this side is more clear in terms of the view of the ocean but yes and it's a very cool area and I love the fact that we have trees just so that even if we are not uh, using the air conditioner we still have uh, fresh air and we still have enough breeze and right beside us we have a dining area a very big dining area so for most houses this would be typically a dining area for a five bedroom apartment or alternatively a dining area for a townhouse because mm. it's fitting eight and this is an eight eight an eight seater but you could also extend it to maybe do a ten seater i mean it there's may. so much space yeah, even around the so dining area there's uh -huh. a lot of space yeah because you can still maneuver you can see we still have enough space over here just to move and on the other side so it's and then it's it's very intimate there's a there's a fine there's a very fine line between our living area and our dining area and it's also very I, for some very weird reason i am really in love with the fact that the living area the dining area and our kitchen are so close yes they're very close other. and open up into it into the exactly so you you come from the kitchen you walk into the dining area you walk you come from the dining area to the living room and vice versa and that is really something add once for a home because it gives you convenience some sort of convenience and sometimes the dining area is a place just to bond and someone in the kitchen can still bond with someone in the dining area it's it's just and it's not you see the kitchen is not is this this is a semi open yes yeah, semi open kitchen yeah so it's also very convenient it's not a hundred percent private but it may be if you want to but then that would be at the expense of your breakfast counter yes so i mean you have a double double height countertop with the this side having a prep area and this side having a breakfast area exactly with the hanging pendant lights over there which are very cool they look very beautiful and they're very subtle yes 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 yeah so it's 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 very convenient you can decide to do it for maybe in the morning maybe when you're trying to rush to work or you're rushing your kids to school it's it's just a little bit convenient other than setting the whole dining table right mm -hmm. so before we even go further paddy we have our balcony our dining area balcony this is this is the second balcony so far yes the second yeah balcony. this is our second balcony and this is actually bigger our oh balcony, yes yes this is yeah. much bigger our our dining balcony is very big it's actually bigger this is the window this is the window to our first bedroom so it's overlooking this balcony and i love the fact that this side has white walls so this other building has white walls and we've also added white walls we've painted uh, the walls white just to ensure we have enough reflection and this can be an area just to relax maybe when you don't want the noise from the outside you just have a look at this side and yeah you get a breath of fresh air and with that we have our kitchen and it's still the same concept i really love the fact that this developer decided to match this part with our doors yes yes they just they, they complement each other and it's it makes it look more stylish mm -hmm. i'd say more stylish and i love the fact that our backsplash is not too busy and this is the we, this time we're not doing our cooker and hood on this side of the house we've just decided that this side will be purely for storage old school a little bit old school because you realize these cabinets are not the ones that are mostly done right now yes 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 but I'm, then mm -hmm. i love that because this is very easy to clean it is very easy to clean considering someone getting this house is someone having kids most of the people who will be getting such people getting this such this kind of units get them for settling or maybe the holiday home and you just need to have an easy time to maybe clean and and everything and you realize they also complement 
uh, that wooden frame and our door. The house actually comes fitted. So I'm gonna give you a microwave, I'm gonna give you an oven, I'm gonna give you this burner, and I'll give you an extractor. So these are standard, they come with the house. And this is a little bit private. Mm -hmm. it, it really feels nice. This is something I'd embrace. It's not a, an idea that had crossed my mind, but it's something I'd actually embrace. And the fact that we have the granite uh, top, just to ensure it's also very easy to clean. Because yes. the gran granite is a little bit simpler to clean. You just, some water or maybe some soap, and you're good to go. And it's black. Yes, yes. Black is very, very mighty. Now, on this side, we have our laundry area. And this laundry area is big. I wouldn't even know what to do with this space because there's an additional space on this side. And to believe this is where maybe you you store, you, you do the store. Maybe you can use this as a pantry. Yeah, yeah. That's an idea. That's that's an idea we would embrace because now it has a door, so it's not like we'll really be interacting with this other side of the laundry area because this is a very big space party. And then I love the fact that we still have some openings on the wall just to ensure that we have aeration because I feel the wind on this side. So there's enough aeration and uh, there's just enough natural lighting because if you realize we've not switched on the lights mm -hmm. for this side yes. and there's still enough lighting. Mm -hmm. And the light inside the house is actually very calm. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very relaxing. Very Sometimes relaxing. you don't want a lot of light. And for me that works. Now, our DSQ is not the usual DSQ that we are used to. As I mentioned earlier, it is completely detached from the house. But this is a very big DSQ. I feel like your nanny would have enough space, just enough space to, whatever, to do whatever there is to do. Because now another concern people raised is that we don't really show the DSQ or sometimes they say the DSQ is very small. So today I want to give you the biggest DSQ there is to see. So this is how it looks like. Of course it's on suit. And then uh, we have our bathroom on this side. A very big bathroom, I'd say. It would actually be a bathroom maybe for our one bedroom somewhere. So this is the bathroom for our DSQ. And that's basically it for this DSQ. So one of the things that stands out the most about this house is the fact that all the bedrooms are tucked in one side of the house. And on top of that, a feature that has not been witnessed in most of these apartments, a TV room. A TV room in an apartment which has been tucked away. And this could be an extra room, maybe somewhere else. Another developer would have opted to do it as a four bedroom because this is a whole bedroom. But then this developer was smart enough to know that this is a family home. And something that people really cherish is their privacy. And sometimes given that this is a house and you want uh, just to relax sometimes without the noise of the kids, or maybe you're fighting with the kids because of the TV, you kids want to watch Coco Melon, some want, to, some want to watch maybe Nickelodeon, and you want to watch your own movie. So why not get a home with a family room and affordable, an apartment, not necessarily a townhouse. This time we're giving you an apartment with a family room. So, and it's actually tucked in, it's tucked in such a way that you can see there's a whole corridor and the living area is on the other side with its own TV. So you can do whatever you want to do with your guests on the other side and still have your kids comfortably watching the TV. So a win-win situation. And then just look at the blending of the colors. We don't have a door, so it does not come with a door. Of course, that's something you can decide to do. You can decide to do maybe sliding doors over here, but then still, even without a door, there's still some sort of privacy. You can feel the privacy on this side and the privacy on the other side. I love uh, how the ceiling looks like. I love the partitioning of the ceiling. And then another aspect is we have very huge windows for enough natural lighting so we don't need lights during the day just to save on consumption of power and still have a very very nice time in our family room so for me this is actually a very new concept i love the combination of the colors 
just fits perfectly. This is not something you'd wanna miss. And uh, this should be a selling point for a lot of people. Yes, yes, yes. Getting a family room in a three bedroom, these days fami family rooms are, are missing even in some of the townhouses yes. or villas. But this one gives you just that. Yes. Now let's have a look at our first bedroom which is actually right opposite our family room. And it's actually convenient because now it's opposite the family room and this is meant to be the kids room so there are two beds so it can clearly it can fit two beds and if you want maybe you can do a partitioning if they feel like they want a partitioning but i feel like it will be too busy it will feel a bit busy for for a room but then it's right opposite our family room meaning you can regulate the amount of time your kids do the tv and once they're done they can come to their room and sleep easily also another thing is if you're the one using that family room you can still be able to monitor your kids from this side because sometimes you have the smaller kids sleeping on this side and maybe you want to watch a movie just to be able to observe them and uh, to take care of them because they're a little bit needy as compared to the others right mm. and of course we have this huge window so we have one on this side overlooking the dining balcony as we had seen on the other side and that's not the only window we also have another window over here still very huge windows overlooking the other side and the pool and as you can see we have enough space so we don't have obstruction or you'd say maybe the other block is uh, bringing darkness I'd say it's it's sort of attracting darkness on this side plus the white walls are just a plus to ensure there's enough natural lighting and remember these windows are also a plus just for the aeration in the room we all need that fresh air now on to our bathroom so this is a very new concept also for me i'm used to shower cubicles maybe glass shower cubicles on that side and then this time we've decided to do something a little bit different of course comes fitted as it is i love the contrast in colors when it comes to the bathroom and this is just some space you can decide to do a few things maybe your shower gel and uh, the rest of the beauty products if you have any so that's how this bathroom basically looks like and i love the fact that it's not so busy as uh, as you'd expect and of course with our smart mirror your kid gets it on so that's that's another unique feature i loved about this place and it's actually safe because the other ones are usually just a matter of pressing but this one has a, a small button down there so you just touch it and then you're done and this is basically it for our kids bedroom and of course there's enough storage space for clothes as you can see and uh it's not the usual and before we even walk to the second bedroom i'm really heavy on space and i'm really heavy on privacy so this is our first bedroom and there's a whole walkway just to get to our second bedroom so this this is the master bedroom but we will look at it once we look at our second bedroom so right at this end of the house we have our second bedroom you can decide to do it as a guest bedroom or alternatively you can switch it up with the other one so you can have the other one as the kids bedroom and this one as a, sorry as the guests bedroom and this one as your kids bedroom but this one is a little bit bigger yes. i don't know it's a bit more spacious um there's so much more space i love the high ceilings by the way i don't yeah. know if you mentioned that and i, I don't know what uh, there's a very big difference in terms of space yeah in between this of, one and the other one if you're looking as uh, as at if you're looking at square footage uh -huh. like these houses have so much more space i know because I this know. is easily a, a master bedroom in a townhouse somewhere in a exactly Lavington. it's just a matter of maybe adding a few things here and there but this can be a living room somewhere else yes actually. yes yes so i I'm, I'm i'm really amazed by the fact that we have enough storage space as you can see there's enough more than enough i'd say there's more than enough storage space and another thing i'd like to mention is that we have a lot of uh, windows for aeration mm, yes. this is actually a room i'd like to wake up to and i love the design of the house party because here's one thing eh? a lot of people don't factor in when they build houses they really don't factor in the fact that 
the other building should not be blocking me from my view because the more reason i'd buy this house of course uh, other than the space other than the location other than everything else i'm also looking at that view yes. that view is priceless yes 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 because sometimes you just want to breathe you just want to connect to the nature see sometimes looking at that looking having this view can just give you peace of mind you know after a long day from work and then it it really works and of course we still have a lot of space as you can see i can move flexibly in this place and there's still a lot of space and now we have our bathroom on this side still the same concept i'd really love to know who came up with the concept for this house it's a it's a mosaic design i don't uh -huh. know if it's mosaic or mosaic uh -huh. but <laughs> same difference Mosaic design, I love the tiles, um, the pattern, the, the texture, the white, grey uh -huh. and black. You realise they complement every part of, yes, this, yes, yes. of this bathroom. And then it's the first thing you notice once you get into exactly, the ground. Exactly. And it's not that it's too bright. Uh -huh. It's a very subtle colour and relaxing on top of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so for me, this one was, it's, it's a very unique design which I did not see. Still the same concept, our smart mirror, we have our floating vanity with enough storage space, you can do your medicine cabinet for there, you can hang your towels and still have a lot of space. I feel like you can do a seat maybe over here or yes. you can extend the bed size maybe to a 6x6 six six, uh -huh. and you can still have a lot of space yes. at the end of the day. The design of the door, if you can, is actually complementing this side and we've not done the usual uh, cabinets no, mm -hmm. not cabinets really yes. uh, the closets yes. see the color of the closets is almost complementing this door uh -huh. so yeah it's it's a very unique design it's a coastal touch actually it's a yes. coastal yes. feeling yes. yes i mean even the furniture itself it has that uh, rustic feel washed vibe so yeah. just giving you oceanic vibes yeah so paddy before we even head to the master bedroom, we have the common balcony, mm -hmm. our common balcony on this side. So you remember on that room, we were overlooking the ocean from the other side. Mm -hmm. Now we are overlooking it from this side. And another thing I love is that uh, the coastal area, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the coastal area does not have like extreme high rises. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mostly we are, we are around the 12th floor, 13th floor, 12th, 13th. So you guaranteed that this is a permanent view. Mm -hmm. This is a permanent view for your holiday home, for your investment opportunity. So this is a permanent view and you won't, if, if it's an investor, if it's an investor, you won't get to a point where you feel like um, now you need to get rid of the house because someone else has built and now they're obstructing you. And this is still our project. So it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So there's no obstruction really. And you see, it's a very huge balcony. You can do seats just to relax. I'd love to have a night view of this just to get to know. I mean, I, I think like. it would look very beautiful because all on that side, you only have the ocean. And usually at night, it's very clear. You can see the stars. Uh -huh. It's amazing if you ask me. And of course, let's have a look at our master bedroom, which is now bigger. I wouldn't know what to do with this space. Because we've, we've, really, we've really emphasized on the space. And Paddy, have you seen uh, the design, the, the ceiling design? Yes, this the, is a very... the gypsum is very unique. Uh -huh. I still love the furniture. I mean, one of the things that really stands out for me in the course is the furniture they have. Precisely. It's very, it's very unique, looks very high-end. And um, I mean, just very unique. Because, and they're not shouting. Yes, and they're not shouting. And... You see, we, we, we are always complaining about how hot the coast is. I need you to, to realize something. The AC is not on. Mm -hmm. We have not switched on the AC. Yes. And it's still very cool. Yes, still, yes. still very cool. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe the, the, uh, the trees attribute, attributes to that. Yes, yes, yes. I think the trees also on this area, uh -huh. because we are in Nyali, mm -hmm. obviously. So, mm -hmm. and on that side, I think you can also see the city uh, cityscape, yeah. Mombasa, Mombasa town. Just on the oh yeah, 
on the horizon there. Because that's that's directly Nyali Town, right? Yes, yes. The CBD. So the person in the master bedroom essentially is enjoying the views of the CBD, the ocean, and nature. Generally. Yes, yes, yes. Just, I mean, 180 degrees of this entire yeah, area. Yeah, because that's the ocean coming all the way this way to the CBD. And there's no high rise. This is a very interesting project, but yes, it's yes. very, it's very interesting. And remember, we have a TV room, and we have, uh, we have a living area also with the TV. And still, you have enough space to do a TV inside your master bed. That's a lot of TVs for one house. Yes, and uh, I don't know if you've seen what is behind you. There's these massive closets. Just all the way, the, the entire wall is just filled, running closets all the way from the door to the end of the room. And That's... I love the color, very easy to clean. Yes, yes very, yes. very easy to clean. And I'm sorry, I haven't mentioned this. Still more windows, mm -hmm. still more windows. So we can just open the windows and switch off the lights and I'll still have enough natural lighting. Cause we have the sliding glass doors on this end, sliding all the way from one end to the other. So that's how it looks like. Let me just open it to ensure we still have aeration inside this room. And then of course the bedside windows on both sides. And this is a six by six and six by six, sorry. And there's still a lot of space. So I feel like I'd still do, maybe I'd, I'd, I'd take one side and maybe do a workstation for myself. Yes, yes. You know, yes. just to ensure that maybe you're doing something else, yeah. And instead of doing maybe a shurak on this side, you can decide to do it on this side. The mirror can still be there, but you can still decide to do a shurak just to ensure that that side is not so much busy. And uh, sometimes shoes may make a place look unkept. So mm -hmm. you can just do it over here. And I love the color, the, the color combination generally from the white of the walls to the ceiling, to the door, to the closets. It's just wonderful. Yeah, it's just uh, almost like a white, brown, and gray combination, which makes yes. it look very beautiful. So we have a his and her sink over here with our double floating vanity mm -hmm. and the two smart mirrors, one for the husband, one for the wife, of course. Mm -hmm. And then it's the same concept for the toilet seat, basically. You can do some of your toiletries over here. And... Uh, here is our shower cubicle. I love the fact that the wall is not too busy. It always looks a little bit hectic when it's a busy wall. Yes. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And then of course, the huge windows, just to ensure that we have aeration inside here and to make sure that we don't have dampiness inside this bathroom. Of course, the mosaic tiles on the wall with a very nice texture, just to give this bathroom touch of class mm -hmm. yeah so for me this bathroom is everything i'd ask for if i was getting a house now for my investors i know you're interested for my home lovers i know you're interested you're looking to get a holiday home i got you you're looking to get a unit for investment with a perfect roi i got you you're looking to get a home just to set it i got you remember if you are an investor the coastal area is the untapped market which if you come in early and if you contact me as soon as possible you'll be among the first people and i mean the first people to benefit from this exquisite project i only have a few units remaining with the completion being the first quarter of this month remember the three bedroom is from as low as 30 million kenya shillings with insane views with insane amenities with proximity to every every amenity around the area which you can get and it is nyali nyali the heart of mombasa give me a call with the number on the screen dial that number right now and i will link you up with the best until next time it's your girl muhadi sandra see you